Hi, welcome to this tutorial which summarises my dispenser's student features. Here you see the dashboard with rows of units. I'll open a tutorial and look at an exercise. The exercise opens with an information page which can be used to add exercise depth. Let's move to the dispensary. In the middle are interactive features which show a blue halo when you hover your mouse over them. You have the prescription, which you can turn on and off, the dispense screen. You can find out facts about the patient. You can ask the prescriber for patient background. Across the bottom you see the inventory field, which is like a shopping cart and lists the products selected and the labels generated. So at the moment we have no products and no labels. And there are other icons, like the additional documents icon, which allows PDFs to be attached to exercises to add extra information, perhaps blood results or hospital discharge notes. The dispense screen functions like commercial dispensing software. We'll work through a prescription. You can see the patient's dispensing history. The dispensing software has no embedded prompts telling us about interactions, Latin abbreviations and things like that. So at every point, the student has to think about what to do. Note the dispensing label builds dynamically as data is added. You can see my inventory has increased as I've generated my label. Now we'll select our products from the back room. In the back room are interactive areas, the control drug safe, the shelves, the fridge and a control drugs register. These all correspond to icons in the bottom toolbar. We'll select our products. You can preview the product and add it to your inventory. See the product number now changes to 1? In the bench top you scan your products. You assign dispensing labels to each product. You attach the dispensing label to the correct product. You can move the label, turn it or flag it for small containers like eye drops. And you can add ancillary labels. Now you can document any counselling points for the patient or notes for the tutor and then hand the product to the patient. You can see the icon has now changed to a feedback icon so you can gain immediate feedback. Looking down the screen you see green and red coloured fields which represent computer assessed correct and incorrect selection. The fields without background colour, such as direction, show ideal feedback that has been generated by the tutor, but for which the correct answer is more variable. If you want to, you can reset the exercise and do it again. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.